you know, that's a really interesting thing to think about, which is uh, why do we struggle so much when we see ourselves on video, especially for the first two or three times? Often a complaint I hear from people in real estate when they're shot videos is, I really don't like looking at myself on video. Now, I want to ask you a question. I want you to think back to your childhood. Most of you who are um, old enough, as I am, will think back to when you first heard your voice replayed on an audio cassette. And the first thing you thought of was, is that how I sound in real life? Because you've been hearing your own voice through, through the inside of your body. You hear it in two ways. You hear it coming out of your mouth and going in your ear, but you hear it traveling from your voice box to your ear on the inside. And so you have no perception of what other people are hearing till you hear it played back. And it's jarring for everyone else, for everyone else who's heard your voice before. It just sounds like you on that audio cassette. They're not judging you. That's just who you are. That's normal. Well, the same thing happens on video. When you think about it, you are only really used to looking at yourself, most people, in a mirror, in a two-dimensional static shot. Now, when you see yourself on video, you see yourself move. You see yourself talk. You see yourself from an angle you're not used to looking at yourself from. Sometimes you even see yourself walk. The first time I saw myself walk, I thought, oh, Jesus, I did not think, out of me, but I, I did not think that I walked like that. And trust me, there's really nothing that unusual about my walk. I don't think, at least nobody's told me that I have a strange walk. I might do but I'm not used to seeing it. And the image that I've, con I've constructed in my mind of how I look from different angles or how I walk is just different to the reality because I've never actually seen myself from an outside perspective. So learning how not to judge yourself on camera is a really big thing because it takes away the self-consciousness of the process. It stops you from feeling so inhibited because you're thinking about how you look. Now, there's a few different ways that will help you with this during our 30-day video mastery training it starts on Tuesday. But number one is you really just need to see yourself on video a bunch more. So you need to practice and you need to learn what you like and learn what you don't like. But you need to become familiar with the truth about you as a human being, which is you look how you look and it's fine. It's wonderful. It's majestic. It doesn't matter. Ex how you are, you can present yourself in a way that's appealing, charismatic, full of character, full of life, full of joy, whatever it is, there's something compelling about you and you can capture it on video. There's something compelling about every human being. Okay, but you have to practice and you have to get familiar with it. The other thing is you also just need to learn about the best angles for you and the best height of the camera and the best approach to telling a story for you. Are you really good scripted when you know exactly what you're gonna say? Or are you better off to ad lib, to be creative, to think about what you're gonna say, to lean back, to move, to walk, to drive? What is the best way for you to create videos? Now this is individual and it's specific and it's for you. But we're going to practice and we're going to try a bunch of things in our 30 days to video mastery training so that you can find exactly what works for you. You'll be familiar with how you look. You'll like how you look, I hope, because you should. And you'll get really good at creating compelling real estate videos that just help you stand out from your opposition in ways that you can't even imagine. So take care and join us for this 30-day video mastery training. I'm excited for it. And I'd love to have your company.